Hi Pisces and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a continued subscriber, thanks so much for turning up guys. Hope you really enjoy your reading for this month. It is a Scorpio season so this is going to be a monthly reading for November 2022. So Pisces, uh, the Sun is in Scorpio so this is the season of uh, transformation, birth, death and rebirth. Um, it's also about sort of shedding old skin and making way for new uh, for the new generally speaking uh, as a general overview however um, being that the Sun is in Scorpio it's nine houses from where you are so we're going to be talking this month for you about knowledge travel uh, anything to do with beliefs and sort of your passions around philosophy uh, philosophy um, and then, then we've got a full moon in Taurus on the 8th of November so this indicates your third house and your third house is all about short trips communication wrap-ups and things that are coming to a close when it comes to um, you know language communication anything like that so if you've been wanting to sort of you know wrap up a conversation with someone or you've really got to sort of get something off your chest finally once and for all um, this is the uh, time to do it so Taurus is um, all about loyalty honesty um, being upfront but you know when the full moon is in that you know that sign it's very much about um, you know it's the culmination a full moon is always about a culmination so it's it's you know you've reached the uh, ex excess point you know that that sort of conversation has expired so um, I hope this is sort of helpful to you we're going to be using three decks today I'm using an Oracle deck uh, angel tarot deck and my um, golden nouveau tarot deck to do your um, spread but before we do the actual celtic cross i'm also going to just pull you an oracle card from the keepers of the light um, deck and then i'll pull you one card from the angel tarot as well so without further ado let's get started and see what oracle um, is going to be looking out for you this month pisces and what messages they have Angel Spirits Guides, which Ascended Master is looking out for Pisces this month? Wow, that was pretty strong. Uh, Kuthumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So this is your Ascended Master card this month, Pisces. Kuthumi, Cloak of Wisdom. The answers you seek, you already know so this is interesting um, obviously with Scorpio season we're working with the eighth house and the eighth house is all about you know the the, um, the house of the occult and it's also about you know sex death and taxes it's all about the things that we don't talk about at the dinner table so if you are sort of you know not wanting to know certain things about you know um, a situation it's within you already it's like they're basically saying you already have the answer just listen to your intuition and being that you're a Pisces and it is caught Scorpio season you know you're going to be resonating with this season as well because it's in the element of water so it's very sort of free-flowing and it's almost like you're feeling like you're in your element this um, you know this this season as well I'm going to pull you an angel tarot card so these are um, tarot cards as well but I'm just going to pull one here to see which angel um, you probably want to work with this month and who might be able to provide you with some guidance or protection or whatever it is they see you needing this month Pisces so um, in here are the arc the archangels the the standard archangels and then we also have the 72 kind of worker bee angels which are the angels of the shem operation or shem hamaforesh which is jewish mysticism and it's essentially you know um these are kind of like the worker bees like i said let's see um which angel you need to work with this month pisces which angel do you need to work with this month Okay, we've got King of Swords, um, and you've got an uh, and you've got an Archangel. So I would go with both of these. Um, let's look. Let's look at Raphael first. So Raphael is the Wheel of Fortune in this deck. Um, 
This is about healing, heals all disorders, protects travelers and medical workers. So again, you know, your um, third house this month is all about short trips on the on the full moon, but also it's in the ninth house and the ninth house is about travel and communication and the wheel of fortune. So I feel like from um, an angel or an archangel perspective, you can work with Raphael. And Raphael is also an air energy and you've got the king of swords here as well. So from what I'm getting here, this is about victory. Um, this is about granting victory. And this is protection from lightning. Um, the king of swords is the card of Libra. Um, but in terms of angel energy here, I'm feeling like, you know, you need some um, protection here while you're traveling. And you also need protection here when it comes to air energy and being able to communicate clearly okay so we talked about communication in the full moon uh, in your third house and wrapping up um, anything to do with also Gemini energy because third house Gemini rules the third house um, so if you've also got a, a Gemini in your life this could be indicating something that you might need to get off your chest this month okay so when you get off get that off your chest this month um, I think you're going to be a much better uh, better for it okay um, there is a victory waiting for you here but Raphael you know you can do an invocation for Raphael but the um, worker bee kind of angel you have here is called Lauia Lauia okay and again Lauia is indicated here by the king of swords which is about a big decision uh, mastering your communication and dealing with um, you know if this is a victory waiting for you but you've also got protection from lightning as well so there could be an energy here where if you're traveling and there's lightning out there um, you're definitely going to have protection if you channel or invocate or invoke um, Laoyao all right so uh, I'm gonna put those aside and let's get into your tarot so um, again, I'm going to be using this Golden Nouveau Tarot. It's quite a new deck that I've just bought. I haven't um, been using it for very long, only a few weeks, but it is sort of got this beautiful gold gilding on it, um, which is really great. So I'm going to get started and let's see what Spirit has to say for you in this month of November, Pisces, and let's get started. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. I'm going to keep going. Angel Spirits Guides, what do my beautiful Pisces need to know this month? What can you tell me about Pisces? Um, the ninth house is also the, the house of Sagittarius. So I also feel like there's a there's definitely like a bit of a wonder energy going on with you this month. It's like the wonder of the world, the wonder of the universe. Um, you know. And again, it's sort of very philosophical. It's like, you know, the need to kind of hit the road, the need that the need to kind of get away from it all and just sort of be this sort of bit of a traveling Wilbury this month. Show me Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we've got Nine of Pentacles. And this first card out here was Temperance. So as I just said, um, Sagittarian energy. It's right at the center of your reading. Crowning you, you have your Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. In your foundation here, you've got the Hanged Man. This is Neptune energy. This is your sort of um, 12th house planetary ruler. Um, but there's an energy here as well of, um, yeah, uh, dreams. Okay. Recent past, you've got the Hierophant, card of Taurus. You've got the moon in your immediate future, which is your card. This is uh, Howling at the Moon. This is the card of Pisces in the tarot. Um, very interesting and then wow you've got the Sun here which is incredible this is the Sun so this is in your position for the month of November as you the querent in your environment you got the wheel of fortune again so things seems to be um, moving in your favor here because Raphael was is represented by the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is um, Jupiter okay so this is um, the card this is the planet that rules Sagittarius as well so you've got a lot of Sagittarian energy uh, in your reading this month um, which is all about opportunity it's benefic wow and then your attitude is the tower which is Aries energy okay this is Mars so this is about conflict as well this could be something to do with um, you know quitting a job or leaving a situation or walking out on something um, and then your uh, final outcome here is the two of wands 
Overarching energy is the page of cups. So there's a love offer here or someone here in the background is supporting you. You've got that emotional um, sort of support in the background. Um, and if you're single, it's new love. Six uh, of swords here is uh, all about a journey. Could be a journey by water, but it's also there's an energy here of um, a recovery, especially when it comes to mental health. There's like a rite of passage that you're taking here. Um, but wherever you're going, it's smooth sailing, which is really um, good. I feel like you're communicating a lot this month as well. When you've got Raphael coming up here, doubling down on that wheel of fortune, this is kind of karmic energy, you know, making its way through. Okay, it's karmic energy in terms of um, being Sagittarian. There's a lot of Sagittarian energy in here, as I said. Um, and I feel really strongly that it's got, you know, you're sort of not so much concerned this month about the day to day. I think this sort of headspace for you this month is very much um, travel planning because you've got planning here as well in your outcome. Um, and also sort of moving away from uh, any kind of toxicity, you know, moving out of that five of swords and moving into the six of swords, which is what you want, you know, smooth sailing. All right, let's talk about these cards. Uh, center of your reading, as I said, you've got this beautiful temperance energy. Okay, so this is all about having moderation and patience in a situation, uh, working with spirit. You're basically what you're doing is you're co-creating with the universe. You're creating spiritual alchemy here. You know, you're working with um, what you've got in terms of your creativity, but also um, your spiritual side, and you're um, ensuring that you know you don't sort of lose your cool. I think that's what you're trying to do here. But something happens over here where I think someone's going to push you to the point where you just enough is enough, because that Mars energy is very much like it's a push from spirit. So even though I feel like you're the peacekeeper here, um, I think you're going to get pushed in a direction that you, um, you know, is, is for the betterment of your situation. And it's actually going to be open up a new opportunity for you. But um, you're not planning. You're not consciously going to be doing this. I think this is an, uh, this is an unconscious thing that's going to happen. In your crowning position, you've got the uh, Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. Um, this is about sort of slow and steady wins the race, especially when it comes to um, money coming in. Um, but I think you're going to have a new perspective uh, on money coming through because there's definitely a download that you're getting here from Spirit in terms of your dream. Um, there is a dream that you are working towards here, but it's just happening really slowly okay you're just sort of plodding along here you're not sort of being aggressive enough when it comes to making decisions about your business or your career path um, but at the end of the day you're not really concerned about that this month because you're all about sort of wisdom downloading knowledge here from spirit and as I said before that knowledge and travel bug that you've got this month um, is definitely sort of a chance for you to do that like you know while you're on the road you might just be you know concentrating and just driving and having that time out so you can actually download those messages from spirit which is really powerful in your recent past you've got the hierophant card which is the card of um, Taurus and you know we've got a Taurus full moon coming up on the 9th of November like I just said um, but this is a time for you to sort of be you know you've got two very spiritual cards here the hanged man and the hierophant together um, or you know in the same sort of cross and I'm sort of feeling like you're looking to the east you're looking to you know Raphael energy is also east energy so if you're also looking at um, doing any kind of meditation or looking to download some spiritual answers you know download the um, compass app on your phone if you don't know which direction you're facing wherever you are you can pull out the compass and actually look which direction is facing east and if you want to invoke any messages or um, you know uh, guidance from spirit world which is what this is sort of telling me as well um, you're very much on a spiritual plane this month you can invoke whatever you want to invoke including the angel uh, Le Leiwai um, for whatever you need but this is you being sort of very um just recently you've had to be like hold your ground you know you've had to sort of be um the taurus energy this is queen elizabeth ii okay she's also um you know very stoic nothing ruffles her feathers um even though she gets you know especially towards the end of her life she had a lot of sort of crap thrown her way but she actually stood her ground and i feel like as well recently you've had to stand your ground in a situation now, in your immediate future here, you've got the moon card. Now, this is your card um, when it comes to the tarot. 
But for me, this is all about the hidden, okay? So there is, there's something here that people are hiding from you. There's something here that's not in full light. This is stuff that's happening um, after dark. And this is something that's being hidden from you. So I believe I'm getting a message here as well that there are people in your circle or people in your life who are not being authentic, okay? Because there's an essence here of... Um, you know anxiety dreams but also the hidden and when i get this card it's like someone's not showing you who they really are okay so there's an energy here of um it's kind of like deception but it's it's something that will eventually come to the surface because the moon has to eventually go to sleep and the sun rises and when i say that you've got the start the sun straight after that as well so whatever you're not actually seeing about somebody here or something that's happening behind the closed door that you're not privy to it's going to come out okay and it, you know it's going to be for the betterment of your situation here because you're going to be shining this is like an opera this is like a blessing it's like thank god they showed me their true colors here because now i can um, move forward with optimism my own creativity my own uh pathway here my own sense of innocence and my own um you know my own ego you know this is all about your creativity as well like you you can you don't have to listen to what other people's opinions are anymore this is about you sort of owning it and also coming into the spotlight it's almost like something's going to happen behind the closed doors and then once you see what happens like the wizard behind the curtain once you figure out what's happening behind the curtain you'll be able to it'll be your time to shine okay and in your environment and how other people see you you've got the wheel of fortune here which is ruled by jupiter this is all about um good luck good fortune karma you know fate the wheels turning in your favor so this is very benefic it's very much um it's good luck you know this is amazing and this can also indicate more money coming towards you as well so there could be some sort of financial windfall or extra money that you didn't expect this month um that is also going to be coming through for you your attitude here is the tower, um, which is about breaking down the old, um, you know, sort of abandoning and just jumping out of the castle and Mars energy here is pushing you. Okay, it's sort of also going, it's an energy here about going for what you want because Mars energy is about the planet of want and it's also the planet of um, war and conflict. So your attitude here is kind of like, well, I'm not going to stick around because this is old news. Okay, you're stepping into the light. You're planning new things here. Your outcome card is the two of wands, which is about planning. And you've got the world in the palm of your hands here. You can see that and you're looking out into the into the um onto the land from a from a, also from a much higher plane here you're sort of standing up here you're actually standing on top of a castle looking down across the land and this basically is indicating the fact that you've got um a much more sort of longer um perspective you know you're starting to think long term you're not just thinking short term now all the time you're not sort of going from one job to the next one sort of thing after the other i think you're now starting to realize the you know the power of planning okay so i just keep that in mind as well even though at the moment in the center here you might just be trying to keep the peace your overarching energy is the um, page of pentacles sorry page of cups which is your sign this is the uh, card in the court cards of um, pisces uh, oh, i was actually pisces cancer and scorpio so it's a combination actually i stand corrected um this is all water energy but this is sort of someone here who's, who's sort of got your back there's someone here who's supporting you on an emotional level but also if you're single this could be a love offer you know there could be new love coming in for you this month as well pisces um so keep an eye out on that and if you are traveling or you are taking a trip some of you might be taking a trip by water but when we talked about um you know your uh, sign this month is in the ninth house. This is about knowledge and travel. So I feel really strongly like you're going to be learning new things, but at the same time, you're also going to be hitting the road or going on a short trip somewhere or a holiday or something like that. So Pisces, I hope you really enjoyed your video this month. If you did and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And as you can see along the top of the video here, you can contact me at newangeltarot.com. Everything you need to know is in the links below. You can also book a personal reading with me if you want to expand on any of these ideas or concepts and they resonated with you. And if you'd like to learn tarot, check out New Angel Tarot Academy. Uh, it's a special website I've booked where it's all 
created online in your own time, work at your own pace, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what time of day you want to study, you can do that at New Angel Tarot Academy. Um, really well uh, priced as well. So again, check out all my links in the description below. Have a fantastic November. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye Pisces.